Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. When we last left off, uh, we were playing as Carlos, and we went on a little romp through the RPD. We found out how our old friend Marvin uh, got fucked up, and that was Brad's fault. Dick. And now we're back as Jill, after the train had been derailed. Also, I managed to stop that video pretty much exactly on 30 minutes, which <laughs> I was quite proud of myself for that. Okay, so let's go. Come on, Jill. Unfortunately, we know Nemesis ain't that far away. Ooh. So we're back underground. Carlos? Come in. Ooh. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Yeah, so we've got F8 spray. Mine rounds. Uh, UBCS, new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you've left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or on the ground, and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, you toss them in an enemy's path, and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these giant freaks. Get out there and fight dirty. Okay... They sound fun. Um, now, we can't make those, if I remember correctly. Now, do we get... I don't know. I don't know if we got to pick up anything that Carlos left behind. It doesn't look like it. We've got a lot of grenades. Now we don't know what we're going to encounter out here. So let's keep going. I don't know where the hell we are either. Where are we? Subway tunnels. Yeah, we've got a live one. Come on, my friend. Oh, we've got loads of them. Come on, guys. One at a time. Oh, popped his head. I remember when they said Resident Evil zombies wouldn't work in uh, this kind of way with over the shoulder view they were wrong they work really well oh, we definitely need some more handgun bullets I don't think he's getting up oh He's got a splitting headache. Tempted to make some more hang on bullets, you know. Oh, oh dear. You know, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Oh, I like this shotgun. It's more satisfying than it was in uh, RE2. The RE2 shotgun didn't seem to pop heads um, as well. Nope, I thought I could hear a thing. Uh, it doesn't seem to pop heads as well as I think it should have. But this one? Ooh. Walker's still alive. I can't stay here. Yeah. Uh, oh, n okay. Maybe. Maybe we should have brought something with a bit more pop to it. Oh, 
Are we gonna like run into him down here? That would be pretty fucking mental. Right, we're almost, we're basically out of handgun bullets now. So, I think it's time to store that bad boy. We want some more shotgun shells. Say, something like that would be nice. And let's go for you. And ooh, let's take a couple of flavors with us, shall we? We'll take some of you boys. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we use the explosive ones. Um. Let's go with the explosives for now. Right, Nemi. You don't know who you're fucking with, but Jill's not buying what you're selling. But you're going to be buying what she's selling. Because that's the way it works, Milado. Okay. Ooh, look at this place. Ooh, apparently there's stuff. A herb. Definitely have a herb. What else do we have around here? This is a big area to explore. A Ooh. Clock tower brochure. St. Um, Mikhail's clock tower. St. Mikhail's clock tower is a... Baroque-style building, which stands in the heart of Raccoon City, has become a loved icon, and residents consider it to be uh, emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several uh, philanthropists. It was uh, dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Uh, Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Uh, Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown. But in the 1900s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time, with proper preservation efforts in place, the clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tulling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. Hmm. Really don't want to leave anything behind. Not if we can help it. Hmm. And I also don't know how big this area is going to be. That armoured security van could hold some nice... Ooh. Oh, hello. Um. Hmm, God. Didn't really want to do that, but sure. Or that for that matter. Okay, well. Still more stuff. We get around the other side of the cop car. Oh, that looks almost like something that we can raid. Oh, don't do this to me, game. I know there's more loot here. Game, give me your secrets. I bet there's like, I don't know, some fucking grenades or shotgun shells or rockets or something somewhere. Ah, screw you game. Can we go through here? No. Ah, oh, fuck knows then. Disappointed. Unless it also means like up. Oh, no, there's definitely more stuff down here.
Hmm. Anything? Ah. Ah, oh, hang on, bullets. Well, I mean, I guess. I suppose. That makes sense. We need them. Right, let's go take our shotgun for a walk, Jill. Oof. Hey, Nemi. Well, he's put himself out. Are you sure? Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? And that's a surprise. What the fuck? Oh god. He's getting big. Run! Jill, we got a gr That's pointless, Jill. Run. We have a grenade launcher. Use the grenade launcher. Oh hell. That was way closer than it should have been. Oof. Fuck, look at it. What the frickin' hell? Um, that looked like it hurt. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, run. Well, I guess it's a good thing we brought this. Oh, there's no way you can keep soaking these up. Are you serious? Um. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Right, let's grab the stuff. Grab the stuff. Ouch. Uh, bollocks. All right, we'll leave that there. Oh, there's got to be loads of stuff everywhere. There has to be. Ow, ow, ow. Jill, you're fine. You're fine. I think you're fine. I'm not 100% sure that you're fine. Oh, God. That's not good. Uh, right. Health. Health is a good thing. Use. Grab. Wait, you're just kidding me. Um... Uh, oh god. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Rocket launcher. Uh, grenade launcher. Equip. Reload. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder. Mine rounds. Where is he? Ooh. Jesus. Explosives. Ooh. Jill. Just keep feeding them grenades. How do you like that, you big ugly fucker? Huh? Huh? How would you like to burn? I know you like fire, Nemi. Right, and then... Nope. Okay, and then he runs round in circles. So... Mine rounds? Ooh. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Oh, I see. That's the parasite. Ah, right. I've, I'm with you. I get it. I get it. I get it. Ouch. This is... Oh, God. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Uh, please stop eating Jill's face. Holy shit. How much does that hurt? Not as bad as I thought it would, actually. Right, Jill. Okay, so we know it's going to explode. It's going to land. Reload. Come on. Okay, I think that's how we do him in. 
least that makes some semblance of sense to me. Uh, right. Uh, have a mine. Whilst you have a mine, I'm going to run around and try and grab some more gear. There we go. How's it feel, Nemi? Huh? How's it feel? Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh, you fuck. Getting that dodge down. Ooh. I'm guessing then its heart is where the parasite is. Oh, I think we got it. Right, let's do this. it. Where did she get all those grenade ammo? Now I get what my missus was saying the other day because she didn't have any grenade ammo. And I heard her say, Where did you get all that grenade ammo? Hang on. Right, let's explore, make sure we have everything. Oh, God. It's got to be said. Nemi is so much fun to fight. And look at this little arena they've set up with loads of ammo and weapons and bullets and, and all that good stuff. Isn't it lucky that we uh, got cornered in here with Nemesis? Imagine if we got cornered somewhere that didn't have guns, bullets, ammo, rockets, and all that stuff. That would be really awkward now, wouldn't it? Lots of mine ammo. Anything left in the center? Um... No, yeah, I think we're good. Oof. Shotgun still has a hell of a spread to it. I would shoot it some more, Jill. I would not stop shooting that. How the fuck do you stop that thing? Ooh. It just threw it back again? Oh no. Oh no. That was a real cheap shot, Nemi. That was a real cheap shot. Interesting. You've done me a big favor. What's she done? Oh shit, look at her. Oh, well, poor girl. I don't feel so good. Roughly half a day later. Jill! Hey, answer me. I wouldn't throw my gun away like that. Damn it. Oh shit, look at Tyrell, her. do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I. I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. Alright, I'll meet you there. Tyrell's a good man. Uh, we might want to get a gun. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. <laughs> Yay! I was wondering if they was going to do the whole infected thing like they did in the original. Jill's not giving up. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Ooh. You're gonna be okay. You'll be fine, Jill. Oh. Can we? Can we give that to her? 
I don't know. Now, I wonder... Ah! So... Carlos has his own separate items. Okay, that's cool. You're gonna be fine, Jill. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Why is there machine gun ammo in the hospital? I mean, I know we're in a, an American hospital, but... Ah, that's useless now. Discard. Yes. Okay. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Stay frosty. Come. I'll go on ahead. I hope Tyrell makes it as well, because he's a good man. He's the reliable sort. Shame we can't get her a drink. Making life better. Umbrella Corporation. Safspren. From the original. I do like their um, logo though from the films. Our business is life itself. I thought that was an actually really cool logo. Uh, slogan. I should say. Oh, we need bolt cutters. Interesting. Quality service satisfaction. Yeah. So this is an umbrella hospital. Which, let's be honest, means you're going to have a bad time. Ooh. Well. Let's go to town on these fuckers. Ooh, you little sneaky fuck. You're gone. Sorry, cop. I'm the only doctor here. And this is the only prescription I can give you. Take five. Oh, God. To six of these a day. Oh, man. That went really badly. And you'll be cured of tea in no time. Come on. Last bullet. Ammunition. Exhausted. Oh, that's for Jill, I guess. Benson Memorial pamphlet. Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation uh -oh, to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Thought you might want some. Okay. I think the machine gun is, well, the assault rifle is about as powerful. As the pistol. Well, obviously, much deeper magazine and much better fire rate. Take your medicine, you bitch. And come on. There we go. Right through the chin. Okay. Now, if we remember the original Resident Evil 3, it wasn't just zombies that we came across in the hospital. Oh, no. Well, that's another one for Jill. I'm guessing, anyway, unless Carlos gets a lockpick, but I don't know. Mm, nice. Alright. Area's clear. 
Ooh, bloody bandages. Nice. Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Clark. Oh. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Tape player. Well, well, well. Oh, there's stuff back there. Probably. Just that stuff I can't get. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's cool. That cool, brother. Alright, come on, Carlos. Let's have a little squiz around. Ooh, ooh, we have options. Nurse's Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring more of these mystery illness patients. These sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in a straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The doctor has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. But I'm not sure I'd buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through a forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice Bugger. Match. What kind of side... Sci-fi. <laughs> well, let's light these Zeds up. Come on. Come on, buddy. Take your medicine. There's enough here for all of you. And this is free of charge. You're down. Come on, buddy. You don't have to queue. We have enough medicine for all patients. What about you? Yeah, I thought you might want some. Nah. Can't get rounds on him. Oh, come on, love. Look, I know it's free, but it doesn't mean you get to take the piss, and you. Jesus, some of you bastards are just greedy. I guess there's a non-standard dose. That's just what I wanted. 30 rounds. And you, in the medical profession, should know. Uh-oh. Um, hey, love. You can have extra. Right, well, uh, so we need a keycard for that door. You're being a git. There's more stuff here. Probably because at some point that's going to smash and we're going to have access to that. Oh, this is like children, man. Teddies. Oh, no. Teddies or women, in my experience. Because my missus had a huge teddy collection. Like, huge. I swear there's no space in the bed for me half the time. Okay, so we can't go in through there. Right. Well, I guess we're not hungry, but then would you want to be hungry around here? Hmm. I guess we're going up. Ooh. Who or what threw that down? Oh, okay. Yep, I guess they were trying to clear that up. There's lots of food here. Oh. Make sure these guys stay down. A 
Okay. Are we good? Yeah. I think we're good. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this. Oh, God. Inventory is getting crowded. Oh, is this a save room? Well, ain't that a quinky dink, because we are out of time. Well, let's drop you down, drop you down. Keep hold of you. Uh, combine these things. Look how much health and shit we've got. Fuck. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit better. Right, guys. And, uh, I oh, no, health. I don't know if I want to be taking all this health and stuff, though. Because, like, if... Jill's going to come through here. Oh, Nurse's Journal, September 27th. Admitted, admitted, admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperplagia. Don't know what that is, hyperplasia. Possible infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten whilst treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his, f his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is com in complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got no... Uh, we've got to contain this chaos. Oh, shit. The story, guys, is definitely more engaging than it was in the original. But as I was saying before, that's to be expected. The, um, you know, times have come along, you know. So anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.